Hi my lovely people, welcome back to another tutorial. This is going to be a vlog style tutorial because I worked a little bit longer than I wanted to for the past couple of days. So in order for me to have content for you guys, I had to pre-film this look. I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Welcome back to Vlogmas Day 18. And let's just get into the look. So I'll be using the Rastafarian palette from Yadi Cosmetics and the glitters I got from a makeup artist off Instagram. If I can find her makeup um, name, like her Instagram name, then I'll just add the link if I can find it. If I can't, I'm very sorry. But yeah, so I'll be using the Yard the Iri palette from Yadi Cosmetics just to achieve this look. It's basically a black base with glitter. Um, I just threw it together. So it's nothing crazy, and I believe anybody can achieve it. Once you just blend out your blacks, and I use a tad bit of yellow just to give it that little Oh, there you can see a little something in there that's just not black and glitter so um yeah i'm gonna just get onto it as you guys already see the face is already done the eyebrows is already done the only thing that's left for me to do is basically just put the eyeshadow on my lids obviously you want to know obviously you know that you're going to have to um have some concealer on your lids blend that out um, I already went and did that step because I was just like, let me just put this video together. So, I'm going to start off with a flat brush, which is from BH Cosmetic. It doesn't have a name, it just says number 7. So, I'm going to be using the, this, I'll be using this color right here first. And they have black in there and the the other black has glitter in there and the other one has a tad bit of glitter in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to start from the base, the very bottom of my eye. And I'm going to work my way up. to finish cutting out my crease and that's where I will stop with the black before I add another shade of dark brown it's like a really dark black brown if that makes sense and that's how I'm going to continue adding my colors all the way up so I'm going from dark into light to like extremely light if that makes any sense so for the next portion you'll need three things you will need a, a flat brush <laughs> it like completely left up my mind a little while ago you need a flat brush some type of brush to add your glitter and four things and concealer and you can either use a dual glue or you can use um a uh, base booster um glitter glue so i'm going to carve out like the wing area or the area that i want to put the glitter on if you have hooded eyes it's gonna be a, a little bit higher than the normal i'm not cutting it's kind of like cutting my crease but not quite cutting my crease i'm just using it as a guideline to know okay that's where i will be adding my um glitter so that's the reason why you need the flat brush. I'm going to clean mine off. And then the back of my hand is pretty dirty. Well, not dirty, but, you know, it's kind of like my um, canvas. Like, I'm painting on my hand before I paint on my face. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and dip the concealer in the dip the brush in the concealer and flatten it out i kind of got this brush from 
um, online. I think this was also from BH Cosmetic years ago. I just cut it and made it flat because I don't know. I like working with a flat based brush. So I'm looking in the mirror to go ahead and um, cut my crease. And take your time when you're doing this and I'm going back into the concealer that I have on the back of my hand and I'm just cleaning off my brush so again I want to make sure that it's lined up as you can see I want to make sure that it's lined up to come around to the area and I know it looks messy now but once you clean that up and you add your concealer and everything else it look perfect I purposely didn't concealer anything like that and I added my foundation because I wanted to skip that step um, once I um, clean up the under my eye which is the concealer all the fallout will be gone you can take a spoolie and you can just go ahead and clean up under your eye nicely with that being said, the first thing that, uh, the first color that I'm going to go ahead and, uh, no, actually, I'm going to go ahead and use my brush. This is also from BH Cosmetic. It does not have a name, but it's an eyeliner brush. You can use it to put your eyeliner on. I'm going to use it for this purpose which is me putting the glitter on my eye and again i'm using the back of my hand because for me it's easier glitter and this is what it looks like so it's a mixture of chunky chunky glitter and um the little tiny glitter so i'm just dipping my brush in there and i'm gonna go ahead and line the glitter on the area that i have put the glue on and yes the glitter will fall all over your skin or face or chest you just gotta remember to brush it off I didn't necessarily bake what I went ahead and did was I just used the setting what I did was I used the setting powder I did not necessarily went ahead and bake I just used the setting powder to go ahead and tap that into my skin now I'll be using my Anastasia is it Anastasia? Yes, my Anastasia uh, Beverly Hill Contour Palette. I don't know if it's just me, but my face looks white. And sometimes it comes off like that, but it's not necessarily like that. But, yeah. So I'll be using my Anastasia um, Contour Kit to go ahead and give back my face a tad bit more color.
So what I'm gonna do is because I want everything to be dried properly, I am going to go ahead and you know pop my lashes on. What are you doing? I'm This is the final look. I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. And until next time, you guys, stay safe.